Oh, I'm disappointed. I'm very, very, very disappointed. are up is a little <laughs> yeah it's a little after 8 a.m we've been up since like 7 though right it's 8 a.m we just been laying here scrolling through social media Love but we're it. about to get up make some breakfast and we are going to the park today you gonna tell them why yeah because you're over my fucking day so he got um gifted a toy a from toy. Amazon for a review. So we're gonna do a tour review video. We're gonna record a tour review video for him today. And then I'm gonna be vlogging throughout the weekend. So oh. Bruh. What what's that? I look like yesterday with these lashes. <laughs> look at my lip. Like I literally just woke up. I haven't even gone to the bathroom yet, y'all. Alright. Hey guys, we are in the bathroom getting ready to just kind of get my face and my hair together. I just got out the shower and missed my hair a little bit. Y'all, my hair has been growing so much. And it's because of this hair, uh, her natural products. I use the pop and curl gel. I use the bounce back curl refresher. I also use the polish, moisturize, and shine finishing oil. And I also use her um, lavender and honey leave in conditioner. Right. I use all of her products. Just to my hands and now we're just going to get into um the face <clears throat> um i did take my, my lashes off whenever i took a shower so i'm just going to reapply those i'm going to do my brows that's going to be it So this is it. This is the look um, with my hair and my face. I do not do any foundation. I think I want to get some CC cream because that's kind of like a light moisturizer with a tint to it. So that I think I'm interested in that. Hey guys, I wanted to show you something that I got from Amazon. It's a citrus manicure set. Uh, I'm sitting here watching myself on YouTube. But I am going to... Um, so you use a three-step buffer, nail file, cuticle oil, and, and body cream. Look how gorgeous that look. I think this uh, packaging is, is a bit like too, it's like extra. Okay, you didn't have to do all this. Um, <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Looks, it looks like a book. Like when I got it in, in the box, I was like, what is this? I couldn't tell what it was. Usually I could tell what it is by just touching the outside of the package. I'm like, oh, I know what that is. But it looked like a book, so I was just like, I don't know what this is. Um, so I'm just going to buff my nails real quick. Okay, guys, my fingernails look, you see that little buffy shine to it? That is so amazing. It feels good. It feels smooth. <laughs> I am glad I took the time to do that because my nails are getting caught and stuff. That's I want you to go so to that awesome. table. Right now, we're going to um, sit right there. 
we're going to record um, a portion of a video for Prince's segment. If you guys haven't watched any of his videos, I will put his playlist right up here or up here, wherever it ends up being. I think it's going to be on this side. We're going to do like a little opening or unboxing, and then we're going to actually take it to the park and do some exploring with it and see how it works. So, you ready, Prince? Yep. Yeah. So, you guys will see this as a separate video. So, I will see you guys a little bit later. Okay? Bye. Hey, guys. So, we're back inside the house. Um, um. Look at this guy. <laughs> he is ready, Freddy. <laughs> but we came back in the house because we went to the park in the neighborhood. And, oh, look. There's your whistle and your scissor thing. Um, and they and we couldn't find any bugs. So we came back in the house. My my bone had completely died. So I was like, let's eat some lunch. Um, let my phone charge and then we will um head back out and we'll go to the boardwalk. So hopefully we'll be able to find more bugs at the boardwalk because there's water there. So I'm thinking, you know, it's gotta be some bugs there. Also, I want to take this downstairs because I have two small boxes of things that I need to um, give to the Goodwill. And the Goodwill is really close by the boardwalk. So, we have these two boxes full. They're small boxes, but it's got like some old stuff that I don't really use. My old shoes, some old toys that Prince don't play with anymore. And it's two very small boxes, but... um. It's enough to where I'm ready to take it to the Goodwill. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going I'm to take those boxes downstairs first. And then I also have to wash clothes. So, guys, <laughs> update on the washing machine because I haven't talked about that. I have been going to... What? See my, um, um, my eyes. What, what's up with your eyes? Glasses. Oh, those cute glasses. Boy, you look at fly. Yeah. <laughs> so, with my washing machine, so it turns out that the Can washing... Can see my own bugs I got? We'll show that on the other video, okay? Okay. Um, the washer that... we Okay, so it turned out that the washer was not the problem. It was the hose. The hose had some kind of worn out or torn or some ripped and water was spraying out from the hose which was causing it to drain on the floor which is going down to the other apartment so my washing machine the big one is fine so i purchased the little one thinking that something was wrong with the big one i'm going to keep the little one and sell the big one but the issue is i can't get the hose off of the faucet so that I can replace that hose so that my little one can actually work without it having the same problem. I want to go to Lowe's and see if I can get some pliers or some sort of tool. Okay, can I talk? Okay. Some sort of tool or something to see if I can come back and get this done today. Because if not, I'm going to have to go to the laundry room. So, which is fine. It's okay because I've been going to the laundry room. It costs like $2.00. And um, 25 cents per load, and it washes them all in 30 minutes. And then I bring them back upstairs, put them in the dryer, and I'm done. I'm done in like two hours. I think instead of me going to taking everything downstairs to the laundry room, I'm gonna try to go to Lowe's to see if I can get a tool so I can just wash the clothes here and not have to go up and down three flights of stairs. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna take these two boxes downstairs. We're going to go to the boardwalk so Prince can try to find some bugs. And we're going to complete his video. <clears throat> and then we'll go to the like the, whole, the Home Depot or Lowe's or something, okay? That's the plan, man. Yep. Yeah. He'll chillax and why he play and catch his ants and everything. If you're not already following me on Instagram, be sure to do that at being underscore, no, it's at Kimberly underscore Arlinda, and it's also at Motifs by underscore Kimberly. So all of that is in the bottom in the description box, so don't forget to check the links 
as well as my P.O. Box address. So if you want to send me some love mail, check the link in the description as well. They got a new home now? Yeah. You think they're happy? Yeah. They got a new home now. That's cool. You going to take care of them? Yep. Donna, take care of them, Mom. Okay. Are you going to take good care of the ants? I'm going to take good care of the ants. That's awesome. But I'm going to splash them. No, that's not good. Can I touch the ants? Hmm? Can I touch the ants? Can you touch them? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. They're pretty nice. Yeah, they're very nice. Okay. Well, I got ants. What was that? Something in my throat. Hi, guys. Hey, I have some chicken nuggets. See you, um, guys. But I got some ants. Come on, everybody, can we see them? See, guys? This boat is two ants. Oh, this one's on the outside. He got out. He got out? Look. Look at him. You see this one right here? Look. I'll see them. I want to see them. Y'all see that ant? Can I see them? Can I see them? Some tools, and I thought maybe I'll come to this aisle, but I don't think this is the aisle. So let's whip this around. I know I want to look for um, what is it called? Flyers, I think. Like some heavy duty duty ones. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. But let's see. Tools. I think I see. Look at those. These are some serious things here. I think one of these will do. I just don't really know which one. Maybe this one? Forty-one? Sorry. Forty-one or forty-seven ninety-nine? Okay. Or maybe right. this Thank one. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. The anti-slip smooth design. Okay, because that's what kept happening with the other one. It just kept slipping off. Maybe even this one might help. I don't know which one I'm supposed to get. Okay, guys, so I'm definitely going to need another hose. This is dishwasher. Is it this kind? Washing machine. I think this is it. But this is a two pack. I don't need two. I just need one. Look at this. Hot and cold. Rubber. Washing machine hoses. Look at that over there, Mom. I see something. I see something. What'd you see? Look. That. What? That's for man's? Yeah, he's shaving. Rubber wash machine hose. I think this will do just fine. Mm 
just looks about right. This one is $9.97. That's the last one in there too. Okay guys, we're in the garden center. Send the mail. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a snake plant. These are so pretty. Oh, one of these. These are so pretty. These little succulents. Oh, this is so pretty. Medium to bright light. These are gorgeous. Let's stop. Medium to bright indirect light, avoid direct sunlight. Look at these little guys. Look at these little guys. A little light house plant made easy. Wow. Look at these little guys, guys. These guys are sharp. You like that one? These guys are sharp. Hey guys, we are back. Prince ended up lo losing all the ants. When we came back out of um, where we go, Home Depot, they they weren't in here anymore. So I'm pretty sure they crawled out because ants can crawl through almost anything. So that spider can crawl on walls. Yeah. So we're gonna try and get another the spider? day. Mhm. Mm but we are back. Um, we end up going to Home Depot, went to McDonald's. I think I showed y'all a little clip of that. We went to the beauty supply store to get TJ a sponge because his sponge is really old and soft and not really doing much anymore. So I got him another sponge. Um, where else did he go? We went to the Goodwill to drop off all that other stuff. And I think that's it, y'all. I can't even remember what I, I did with my I life today. All these um 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 books. Hmm. I mean, all these books. You gonna feed them? I said I'm gonna clean these books. Oh, clean them. Because these books are not real. Yeah, they're not real. Those are not real. Oh, and I went to my box today. Not my PO box, just my regular mailbox in the community. But anyway, let me show you guys what I got. That's the whole point of me picking up this camera is to tell you guys what I got. But I'm tired. Like, I, I, I'm legit going to go to bed super early tonight. And that's going to be some good sleep, okay? I got this mat, like, for my um, front door. It was, like, four bucks, y'all. So I grabbed it. I'm trying to see if the price was on the back. But the price was on the shelf. It's not on the actual product. So, I got that from Home Depot. So, I'm going to put that in front of my door in a second. And, um, let me turn these addresses around. I had this in my mailbox. I can't, I don't, I think this is, I ordered a COVID test from the government. And I think this is what that is. I have no idea what this Amazon box is. And I have no idea what this is right here. So, we're going to open that a little bit later. That came out of my mailbox. This I got, I ended up getting this one. I think I showed you guys this from Home Depot. And I got this one from Home Depot. Um, and then I went to the plant section and got this, y'all. I got a snake plant. It was 12, let's see, it was $12.98. Um, and then I got this, because I'm going to repot it into this. And this one was, I think, three forty-eight. I'm trying to find the price, but the price is not on there. And then I got this little stand, and you can adjust it. 
It's got like adjustable legs. And this stand was like six bucks. So I plan to like use it just like this. It's a little bit big, so I might adjust it a little bit because it's a little bit wobbly in there. But that is that. Did I get anything else? Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all that I got. So I'm going to go. TJ, what you packing up? Oh, also, while I was at the Home Depot, TJ wanted me to get him a big, large box. So, I got that. It was only like a dollar or something, so I got that. But I'm going to take this and put it in the front door. Let me see. The one I had here, this one came from the Dollar Tree. It used to say welcome on it, but it don't know more. Here, put that in the trash, Prince. Okay. There we go. Good enough. So now we just got like a little welcome mat. And then I I'm going to This is the to me at this. This is the spider. Crawling, 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 crawling. What's this called? That's a bee. Bee. Or a fly. And that is a grasshopper. A grasshopper. What's the red one? A beetle. A beetle. <laughs> What's that one? A spider. So I'm going to repot this real quick and get it all situated. I think this was gonna go in my room because it doesn't need much light. This one is like a low light type of, um, let's read what it says. Cause I think I read it. Grows in almost any of the environment and is unsurpassed as a house plant in even the darkest location. Let soil dry out between waterings, moderate water in the summer, no water in the winter, drought resistant. So, but it does route easily if over water. So, honey, this is going to be really easy for me. It can grow in the dark. It can, um, it don't need to be watered that much. So, I think I'm going to put this one in my bedroom. Yay, I finally got me a snake plant. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. One of my girlfriends said she was going to get it for me for my birthday. And my birthday was in August. We already in almost March of the next year. So it says to say she ain't getting it. <laughs> She's not getting that for me. I'm glad I went ahead and got it for myself. Um and then once I finish repotting that, we're gonna try to go tackle this washing machine, y'all, because we gotta get these clothes washed. Because if I don't wash them today, um if I if I if I can't get it done today, if I can't get it fixed today, I'm gonna have to go downstairs to the laundry room tomorrow to wash clothes. And I really don't want to do that. I really just want to go to church and come home tomorrow. I don't really want to do a whole lot tomorrow. So, and, oh, that's another thing. I plan to actually go to church in person tomorrow. Can I go to church with you? You want to come to church with Mama? Mm-hmm. That'll be great. I would love to have you come. Yay. Be me and you, right? Mm-hmm. Like always. Before I start repotting and stuff, let me open these packages. And these are all these bugs I got. These are all these bugs I got. Prince, you done already showed them the bugs about 50 times. Now, this is exactly what I thought it was, y'all. It's a COVID-19 test. But why is this thing so big? Oh, they gave me two. Oh, so it's actually four. Because there's two in each one. And I got two packs. So I got four COVID tests. That's dope. Just in case I need them. Oh, I'm going to tell you guys where you... I'll leave the link below where I ended up ordering these. Just in case you don't know, the government is giving away free COVID tests. So I'll link these below. So you can get yours too. I ordered them... Almost a month ago, so it takes a while for them to get to you, but, you know, it'll save you some coins. 
Now, this one right here, I, I have no idea what this is. And the way they package this, it's going to make it hard to open. What is this? It looks like some sort of jewelry. I'm getting excited. Oh, is this my... Oh, this is TJ's. TJ, this is yours. This is your medallion necklace that finally came. And this, I'm still wondering what this is. I don't know. It might be something else for TJ. Oh, it's my tool for um, making earrings. One of those, um, what they call these jaw wire pliers for making earrings so i've been waiting on that so that's cool all right so now that we didn't open up all these mysterious packages um let's go ahead and repot this um plant and you know what i ought to repot that other one too i don't really want to tackle that one right now because that one is big so i don't really want to do that <laughs> we're just gonna repot this small snake plant so guys, I have two different soils. I have the Miracle Grow for indoor potting mix, um, blended for a wide variety of container plants, um, and then I have this one, which is Props Plant Essential Soil. This one I got from a um, like a pop up shop that I went to for, and it came from a black on company who like likes it. they um i guess cultivate this type of soil so i'm going to use that to uh. fill in I'm very, very, very disappointed because I tried to go out into the laundry room trying to get this lighting together. Anyway, I tried to go out into the laundry room and take this thing that I just bought from the Home Depot and fix this thing and try to get this hose off of the faucet. It didn't work. I don't know if it's me or if this thing is just like completely stuck and rusted on or I don't know, but I can't get it off. And um, I don't know what to do at this point because I'm not going to be able to put another washing machine in that spot until I can get that hose off so I can replace the hose. And it's really pissing me off. So... Any ideas would be grateful. I would will, will be grateful for any ideas. Put it in the description, the comment section. What do you guys think I should do to get this dog on hose? Oh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and y'all probably like, what you mean? What what is it? We don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. So let's see. Just right here. I can't get the hose off of this and at first I was trying to use this tool to try to like get it to come off and then I went and bought that one from the Home Depot today neither one of these will not budge not even a little bit I mean they are stuck stuck and this is supposed to go right here on that so that the tiny washing machine can work because it's an automatic washing machine it works just like the big one. It runs the water in and everything like that goes through the cycle. At the end of this hose, it squirts out it squirts out water at the end of this hose some from somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it comes from, but it it squirts out. And so 
if I was to put this on here and then turn the water on, all kinds of water would come from this little um, part right here. That is my issue. That's the issue that I have, guys. And so, until that happens, the regular washer nor tiny washer is going to work. So, basically, I have two perfectly fine washers that I cannot use. So, I have to go downstairs tomorrow, wash the clothes. It's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. But anyway, that's my life. So, I've done that. Oh, I wanted to give you guys an update on this girl. Um, she's doing okay, in my opinion. Um, the light stays on for about 10 to 8 to 10 hours a day. Um, and I water her maybe once a week. Um, I water her today, actually. Now, these two pieces right here have not started to sprout yet. So, I feel like until they start to open up, and maybe we got a little bit of something going on right here. Maybe. Until they start to really open up, I feel like I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I feel, I will feel, I will feel like, you know, this is working, like this whole light situation is working. Once those start to open up and sprout out and I start to see like even more new growth from this plant. But for right now, she just, she doesn't look any worse. Like, you know what I'm saying? She doesn't look bad. Um, she looks basically the same as when I picked her up. So she ain't dead yet. That's a good thing. We ain't killed her. Um, <laughs> but now I think I'm just going to work on some earrings. Let me show you guys my new little setup. It is dark in here. I'm going to be doing a cleaning video for my bedroom soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. All right, so I put the, let me, let me back up. I put the desk, a desk right here. This desk was in TJ's room. But I brought it right here. So I have my work side, my personal desktop, and now my jewelry making area. And what I did was I turned Prince's bed the long way. So it would be more room for me to put this over here so let me show you guys okay so this is what i've been working on look at that isn't that cute this is one piece for the spring collection <clears throat> another piece it's just open here but it's basically the same thing just a regular one teardrop earring with the hook and then here are my prize possessions i got this orange one and i put the gold foiled at the bottom and this is also really long with the beads and everything and then this one look at that I really love that. And it's a hook earring, but it has the beading going down here with the uh, pink accent wood piece right here. This is probably my favorite one thus far. Like, favorite one thus far. Let me know if you guys like it, okay? Tell me if you guys like it, because if y'all don't like it, ain't nothing to it. It don't matter if I like it or not. And this one is one that I'm working on. It's going to be called the Sunset um, Earring. It's round. And I used a sponge with three different colors to paint this. So I didn't paint it with a brush. I painted it with the sponge. And then these two smaller ones is going to be painted a solid color. I think I'm going to do these yellow. And then I'm going to connect them with... Um, with some beads some gold beads on this string here or on this um connector here 
Um, now that I have my logo, I started making um, these clear stickers to put on the earring card. Um, and it's on both sides. It has my logo printed on it. And it's a circle. Um, so that I can start a little bit more branding. These are round, clear um, stickers. And there's 20 on a sheet. <coughs> and then you can go to... You okay? Yeah, but this... Hold on. You can go to avery.com slash templates and put in this number and it'll give you the exact template and it'll tell you to put your design in there. You can, they do also have some preset designs that you can put in there that says thank you or, you know, whatever you want it to say. And then it'll already come out to print on the sticker the way it should. So that's what I did with this, but I didn't pay attention to the, the margins. It was telling me that I was outside the margin, but, and I didn't pay attention to that. So if you can see the stickers down here, my, my logo is up here and it's supposed to be centered. So we'll do another round of those the right way. <laughs> following the instructions, Kimberly. Yeah, we're going to do that next time. We're going to follow the instructions. <laughs> really bad but I want to show you kind of like how my brain works when I'm sitting here doing earrings and how it goes from like an idea to me starting to play around with colors and designs and stuff to it me selecting what I'm actually going to have to it getting actually on the website so remember I, before I left you guys I told you I was going to work on these and just have these little ones paint it yellow and then just kind of pull it together right so something told me to put this design on it and then I was like well that doesn't go with this so now I got to put something different on it so I grab a different wooden shape and now we have like a tribal looking earring can y'all see that wow so I, I had a whole totally different thing in mind when I sat down than what it actually came out to look like so but i am almost completely in love with these like totally uh, i'm gonna put the earring backs on them and we'll see uh how everything goes we'll see we'll see how it goes because i do have to also put a um sealer on it and I don't know if I want to do the spray sealer or the the um the glue sealer, but we'll see. But this, that's the earring that I made for tonight. I am not going to make another earring tonight, um, because I'm trying to just like take my time and stuff. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, I'm gonna finish watching um my peoples on YouTube, and I will catch you guys most likely tomorrow because. I got to go wash clothes tomorrow. We're going to church tomorrow. And then I got a couple of things. I think I'm going to record um, my bedroom cleanup tomorrow. And I'm also going to record. Um, I might not because that seems like a lot of recording. Anyway, <laughs> we got something to do tomorrow. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for um, watching my video, like it and comment because I noticed what you already did. Make sure you check out that description box, okay? Because I'd be having links and stuff like that for you down there in the description box that are useful to you. So make sure you always check that out every single time. And I will see you guys tomorrow.